You know, it's interesting, Christy, because it really isn't clear that if there is going to be a new draft resolution, whether the Russians are actually going to be going uh, along with it. Now, Vladimir Putin once again came out at this press conference there at the summit in China uh, and said, look, obviously Russia condemns what the North Koreans are doing. They call it a provocation. And he even went as far as, as to say that he believes the standoff right now between the U.S. and North Korea could lead to what he calls a global catastrophe with many, many victims. So certainly a very gloomy picture. At the same time, the Russians are saying, look, they don't believe that sanctions are going to work. They, in fact, believe that the current rhetoric that's coming out of Washington, coming out of some of uh, North Korea's neighbors as well, is only going to entrench the Kim regime even more to pursue nuclear weapons and obviously also pursue delivery systems for them as well. And he said he doesn't believe that sanctions are going to help at all. Let's listen into one remark that he made, which I thought was really remarkable. Let's listen in. What I mentioned prior, they, they, will, uh, they will eat grass, but they will uh, not turn away from the path that will uh, provide for their security. What will restore their security? Restoration of international law. Uh, we, should, uh, we should aim toward dialogue uh, from all sides. We should uh, aim toward uh, uh, that all participants, including North Koreans, will not have any thought uh, of threat of their destruction, uh, that all parties will uh, get on the path of cooperation. And in this situation uh, to uh, to force military hysteria is a dead end uh, road so the Russian president they're saying he believes that people in North Korea would quote rather eat grass than change the policies that they're currently pursuing uh, obviously that's a big swipe at the United States saying look I, they don't believe that sanctions are going to work but of course you were asking Christie what do the Russians believe is the path forward? And they say it has to be a return to dialogue. And obviously, the Russians have sort of a joint proposal that they've been putting forward with the Chinese, which they call that double freeze, calling on the U.S. to stop its military maneuvers and actually scale down military assets in the region in return for North Korea curbing its missile program or freezing its missile program and its nuclear program as well. We obviously heard Nikki Haley, uh, the U.S. ambassador to the U.N., last night saying that such a proposal was what she said insulting but the russians are saying look it's well and good for the u.s to talk about war because they are simply not in that region but russia has a border with north korea and so they do take this conflict very seriously and certainly want to do everything to prevent it from getting out of control and they believe the only way to move forward is going to be to get some sort of dialogue going but obviously at this point in time it really seems as though the u.s is not going to accept russia possibly even China as a broker between these two countries, certainly with the way that things are escalating at the moment.